Kate and Meghan must learn from Queen. Queen is recognized as most ultimate influencer to young royals. The Queen has been compared to a modern-day ultimate influencer despite Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and Meghan Markle's social media success. Andrea Leadsom, the former leader of the House of Commons, was speaking at the Cambridge Union last night in a debate on whether the UK should be a monarchy or a republic. There she lauded the economic and geopolitical benefits the monarchy gives the UK and talked about the political stability the Queen has brought the country during her 70-year reign. Speaking in favour of retaining the monarchy alongside Jacob Rees-Mogg, the current leader of the Commons, Ms Leadsom joked, in this age of social media you could even call the Queen the ultimate influencer, I wouldn't dream of doing so. Jacob probably wouldn't like it. In fact, Jacob probably wouldn't know what that was. She argued that the reason the UK was ranked number three in the world in terms of soft power was because of the influence of the monarchy. Ms. Leadsom also claimed that companies which bore the royal warrant saw a 10% increase in sales as a result. She added, popular culture today suggests that all politicians, all elected people, whoever they are, are somehow corrupt and in it for themselves. Whether true or not, mostly not, I can assure you, nevertheless that lends itself to the strong case for the relative incorruptibility and independence of a hereditary structure. Making reference to her Platinum Jubilee, celebrated on Sunday, Ms. Leadsom said, during her 70 years on the throne, Queen Elizabeth II has counselled 14 Prime Ministers of all parties, and her continuity of experience and wisdom has been explicitly lauded by all those Prime Ministers. The Queen was raised as a public servant, she knew from the age of 10, when King Edward abdicated, what her destiny and duty would be. Darren Grimes, a pro-Brexit commentator and proposition speaker for the debate, said during his speech, thank God that she has dedicated her life to this country and its people. He added that the monarchy should stay because it stands, and I can tell this is going to get groans already, it stands as the embodiment of our nation, and it stands as that ancient symbol of continuity. He told the student audience, I think that we must jealously guard what we have right now, and I'll tell you why. I think the unifying force of Her Majesty the Queen could never ever hope to be replicated by a figurehead president. Ms. Leadsom further paid tribute to the Queen's life of public service, dismissing claims that the monarch was privileged and out of touch with the ordinary man and woman on the street. The Tory MP continued, she herself has experienced great pain and loss, and has met literally thousands of men, women and children who have also suffered, some in unspeakable ways. She told an audience member, I don't believe that being in a physically, materially privileged position necessarily means that you are somebody who doesn't understand how other people feel. They say that money can't buy happiness, but if you've got money you can park your yacht right next to it. But in truth, the Queen's yacht was sold under her nose, the one thing she enjoyed. Why? Because it gave her temporary freedom. Meanwhile, Mr. Rees-Mogg asked the audience, have we got the best and the most effective constitution? I think we have. I think we've got one we sure can work, but we've also got one that has a fundamental democratic underpinning. Because the sovereign is monarch under act of parliament. This is often overlooked. He added, the monarchy, the queen, is underpinned by you, ladies and gentlemen, the British people. Our sovereign lady is there with and by your consent. Meghan Markle also reportedly left Kate Middleton really upset when she went on foot stamping rant with the Duchess of Cambridge's staff member. According to royal author Tom Quinn insiders revealed to him an alleged incident where Meghan felt she was not being treated fairly in comparison to Kate when she and her husband Prince Harry lived at Kensington Palace. Quinn said, Meghan and Harry were living in what's called Nottingham Cottage and it's probably the only bit that you genuinely really could say, is actually quite small.